Hi there, welcome to TD Cat Tech. Today I'm looking up close and personal at this newer desktop tripod. Uh, all products on the video today have been bought by me. Uh, there's no product placement here or advertising and all opinions are entirely my own. Right, the reason I got this is because I, uh, I did get a product for review that contained a desktop tripod and it made me realize how useful they are. A lot of the time with products you get these kind of things so these are these are all very well but there's just no flexibility there and they're just they're not the build quality is generally poor flex you know there's you've got a single sort of quarter 20 screw there nothing else with something like this what you're really getting is a solid tripod i mean this has got a good weight to it it's all aluminium alloy solid build and uh, it's really just a tripod, but really small, as opposed to kind of a gorilla pod or some other alternative like that. So this is how it comes in the box in its kind of folded up configuration, but you don't use it like this. You actually kind of rotate the legs right out into this position. Uh, if you want to support the channel, by the way, I will put product links in the uh, video description. So please do click on those for anything you fancy buying at Amazon. And, uh, you can see here that it has a center column, but the center column isn't particularly long on it. And that is probably the worst point about it, but it, I guess it can't be because otherwise it would have to come down too far and then it couldn't work in its sort of splayed leg configuration. Uh, so the center column only has that much movement in it. And it does also come with a removable ball socket head so i'm just going to remove that now and inside there you have a full size tripod screw i forget what the actual uh, name of that is like three sixteenths or three eighths or something i don't know the uh, so that's a full size one so you know that's useful to have as a starting point in with any kind of camera because you can you mount up to five kilos on this so it can take a good bit of weight and it feels like it can uh it has the little locking position so the clips around the side here so when you open the legs out they lock in their first position like that and even in that very narrow sort of position even very narrow like that it still feels really sturdy just because one it's got these rubbery sort of feet which grip well they grip particularly well to this mat that i'm working on here uh, but they also it just it just feels solid on the desk it doesn't feel like it's about to kind of topple over like like that's one of the key problems you have with something that's just lighter and made sort of just out of sort of poor quality materials. So this retails at forty nine ninety nine. So I guess I guess it's not super cheap, but it is a tripod. And considering you can spend well over a thousand pounds on a tripod easily, uh, this to me seems like you know if it's gonna, if it's going to last, then it seems like a good price to pay. So yeah, the legs can be clipped down like that and then open out into their wider position there or a third wider position there. So you can really get this thing really wide onto the floor like that. And that's kind of, I guess it's, min was that it's minimum height? Probably is with this. So it's minimum height is 17 centimeters. It's maximum height is 50 centimeters. So this is the adjustment for the uh, plate here. It's unscrew, so you just sort of unscrew it to a certain point, and once it's at enough, you know, once it's been unscrewed enough, it will just come out. It doesn't slip sideways, so if it does unscrew and you don't realise it, it just drops to there, and so your camera won't fall off, but it could topple off like this. So this is not perfect, but it does feel really nice. It's very, very smooth. And when you get to its full position, you've got a really nice kind of soft finish. It doesn't feel like it's kind of just brittle metal tightening up. So, yeah, and you've got measurements down here so you can position it uh, precisely and a bubble level here as well, as you would expect. And the ball socket joint is a decent size and is fastened with this screw here. And again, very, very smooth finish on that. And if you need to, you can move, rotate that round and put it in a different position, which is really handy if this is kind of getting in the way of something, you can always kind of like rotate it and then just, just you know, screw from that point instead. So it's kind of a spring-loaded sort of fastener here, just useful, nice. You don't get that with kind of cheaper cheaper uh, tripods necessarily, but um, this in itself is a nice little ball 
socket head, if you like. Um, and this on the actual top here, this is uh, just a quarter 20 screw. You wouldn't expect anything different. And uh, it prob looks probably like the weakest point here, but uh, you could fasten that with a, uh, with a coin or a bottle opener or something, but it also does come with an Allen key as well. So uh, you can use an Allen key on there to, uh, to fasten the mounting plate to your camera. Only comes with one mounting plate, shame. Wish, wish they, they would provide these with two so you could permanently keep a, you know, a light and, and, and a camera fitted to here depending on what you want to use on the tripod so you don't have to keep kind of unscrewing and screwing these back up again. So when that's dropped, that's actually kind of hitting hitting the desk there. So it's exactly the right length for the legs to be in their widest position, which is understandable. Right, so if I just bring this up, I'm gonna show you the actual feet on here. So these are rubber feet and they do extend out. It uses an unscrew method. It doesn't have clips on. It uses an unscrew method to come out one, one section like that and then unscrew again and it comes out the second section, unscrew again, it comes out the third and unscrew again and it comes out the fourth and that's its kind of maximum length. And then to tighten it, you just tighten it like that. So I thought initially that uh, if I only wanted one section out, it could only be this thin bottom section, but that's not true because I can put that in like that and unscrew, put that in like that, unscrew, put the, oh, okay, so that one's gone in now. <laughs> unscrew like that, put that one in, and then I can just tighten everything up with just that bottom section open. And uh, it's, a, it's really not the best solution in the world, this. This um, is, is kind of fiddly. I would prefer either independent screwing points for each section, but that would probably be too big, or clips. It's just easier to use than this whole kind of unscrew one section. Because now, look, I've unscrewed that, that and it's pulled out the bottom section. And it, I don't know, it's just asking for something to break. When, you, when you've got it at maximum length, you just tighten it up. You know, you probably don't want to over tighten that. And it's a reasonable length, as I say, maximum height on this is 50 centimeters. So you have to unscrew, just unscrew them all, put them all back, tighten it up, done. Really, really simple and uh, very, very sturdy. That's the most impressive thing about it. Honestly, the build quality on this is great. It feels fantastic on the desk, feels like it can hold a good weight, it says five kilos. I absolutely don't doubt that. Um, I was questioning, can I put my Z90 onto here? I reckon I could. You know, I'd probably have to splay the legs out one more, possibly, because it is a bigger camera. But um, but no question. You know, this is a really sturdy device. And uh, if you're after looking for something to sit on a desktop or just something really small to carry around with you where you just need some extra stability, this is a pretty good buy, I think. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions about it. Then, uh, I mean, it is just a tripod at the end of the day, so nothing too fancy. But uh, do let me know if, the, if you do have any questions. And again, if you want to support the channel, please use the links in the uh, description. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.